What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button and comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you watch y'all some heat. In today's video, man, I will be giving you a full walkthrough of making a cartoon head. And another thing, too, I want to show y'all like, if you're trying to if you're drawing some dope artwork and you want it to fit perfectly inside of Instagram, you know what I'm saying? When you want to show your work, I'm going to show y'all like the size I like to use. So let's jump right into it. Come over here to file, click new. And then I go to my custom setting. I, I like 18 by 18 inches. That's what I use. That that seems to work perfect for me when I'm drawing and I want to upload it straight to Instagram and keep keep everything in frame, you know what I'm saying? So after I find my size I want to use, I find the art, the picture, and I just drag it in and drop it right into Adobe Illustrator. Stretch out the size a little bit. I hold in shift and out at the same time so you can keep keep the same like height and width of everything. Let's see. Bet. And then come right here, drop the opacity down. Lock that layer, create a new one. Come over here brushes and if you got a tablet you can have this set and when you use pressure sensitivity this the brush I like to use the one after you do this just put three right here in both of these numbers and both of these spots right here and click OK and it'll give you that brush you see me use all the time with the sharp points and all it is is like pressure like I go light then I press down hard then I end light so it's just like a technique that you can get so it's good to have a digital tablet you should invest in one so the first thing we do I do is like I start at least with the nose or the eyes let me double click onto this brush so I can get some more control if you move your smoothness up, meaning if you got the stabilizer too high, it'll correct your line too much. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that's a good thing when you're really trying to make clean, clean lines. But then sometimes you don't want it that high because it'll, it'll fix when you're trying to make little curves and stuff. So I'm going to bring that down for now. And all I did was to get to this option is double click my brush. So I'm going to click OK. Let's see if it's, if it's doing how I want it to do. OK. That's a pretty good one. And when you're working on your line work, don't be afraid to like erase. Like keep erasing it until you get it exactly how you want it. The cleaner your lines is, the better your cartoon head to come out. So make sure you're working on making some clean lines. I get a lot of my inspiration too, like from anime. Like I like how clean, like the they do their artwork. You know what I'm saying? So if you was wondering what, like, what art style I'm really into is is like anime. So I just watch some random anime and just look at the 
detail that they put into those cartoons like that really inspired me so see we taking our time and the line work coming out pretty clean I ain't rushing it just going with the flow gonna make my brush a little smaller when it's so I can do these eyebrows slowly but surely I'm gonna do this side and we're gonna make we're gonna make our brush a little smaller so we can do like the little fine hairs and we're gonna make the lines a little more closer together so it'll look more fuller What you want to do for the hair so you can cover a lot of ground at once you just want to come like to a big size brush and then we just gonna fill in we're gonna fill in a lot of space but we ain't gonna go too close to the edges too close that's if you're doing a picture of someone with a lot of hair you just want to fill all of it in like a we're gonna start out with the one and then we can just come to the edges and you want to just do different swirls going left and right so to give it like a effect like it's a lot of hair and the more you do it it'll just fill up
see it get that effect like it's a lot of hair going on you know what i'm saying and it'll just buy you some time if you just fill in the inside and just worry about the the edges so i can make this brush a little bigger give that one same thing we did at the bottom we're gonna do at the top you know what i'm saying so we're gonna keep this same thing going we're just gonna do this all around and another thing you can do after you done went all around you can go back around like one more time with a smaller a smaller brush and do the same thing so it'll look like it's just just more really you know what I'm saying like it'll just bring the effect out more Now we're gonna do these edges. Now we done did that. What you wanna do is when you come back, like I said, with a smaller brush, then you can just go around and just a little add. Finally completed the line work. It's time to start the process of coloring everything. Wait, wait, wait. We got one more thing to do. I 
can see a little more. I just wanna make sure I got all the little details. details and line work what you want to do want to highlight everything go to object expand appearance then you want to go to your pathfinder where's my pathfinder go to windows pathfinder on your pathfinder you want to click merge You click merge, you can click off of it. Go to your line work and make a copy of your line work and lock the top copy. Okay, now while you got the, the second copy selected, you want to choose a good color to start with for the skin tone. Let's see. pretty good to start with go to your rectangle tool and drag the color over the line work then you want to right click the rectangle tool I mean right click the rectangle you made and go to arrange and send to back you'll know if you did this step right if you look over here at your layers and you see your your line work sitting on top of the color that's if you know you did that part right so now after you do that you want to select all this together and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder and what that's going to do is make your line work become one with the color and after you click merge to make all that one you want to right click this and then you're gonna, you want to click isolate select the group so after we grouped everything together it made it all one now we're isolating selected group so what that's going to do is it's going to make every area that's by itself like these little corners right here like inside it it's going to make it separate if you click on to it everything that's closed off like even in this area so that's why when you're doing your line work, another thing you want to make sure you're closing off. You want to make sure you don't have no openings in the eyes, the mouth, the lips, everything that you're going to know, you're going to want to make a different color. So go to isolate, select the group. And now we can click colors individually. That's closed off in color. See, it's showing me. So we can color this, we can color that, we can color this, because everything is closed off. Another thing I like to do is go ahead and delete the outer. And you notice we got a lot of hair. We got a lot of color stuck in our hair, and it'll be like, it'll take forever just trying to go through like this and manually delete everything. So I got a little trick for that. What you want to do? You want to come over here to your layers tool and you want to open this tab right here and then you want to open this one again and you want to stroll and right where you see the last line work you want to start locking all these layers coming up but leave all the color layers open just stroll up locking all the the layers of the line work and leave these first two unlocked after the, after you do that you want to close this back now we're gonna be able to come right here and delete 
all the color and because we lock the blind i mean <laughs> because we lock the black line work it's not gonna touch that it's only gonna touch remember we didn't lock our colors so now we can just select everything and we don't have to worry about making a mistake and clicking deleting our black lines so i'm just gonna go through and clean up the colors out the hairs and i will be dropping a couple tutorials like this so eventually if you don't get it if you can't understand it this time eventually you will if i just keep doing this so much you will start catching the hang of what i'm doing so we just gonna go through and we deleting all these little colors I think we got everything clean. I like to zoom in and go through checking, making sure, making sure everything was, everything is gone. It's look pretty good to me. So now what we gonna do? Finish. Finish coloring everything. Isolate selected group so we can color only certain areas. shift if you want to color two things at once or multiple things at once And this is what I do every time I'm doing like a cartoon head. I just put all the base, the base colors down before I start like doing the shadows and shading and stuff. Okay, now that all, all that's looking good. So now we finish, we finish with our line work and we finish with our color layer. So now what I do is put a, a layer in between so we can do like the shadows, the different shadows and stuff. Uh, and we're gonna make one more layer too so we can do like the detail in the hair. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. So to do the little, the little detail inside the hair, what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to your little gradient thing wait wait I know a whole a whole nother way what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to our windows and we're gonna click swatches and after you pull out your swatches you just can go through your your little books until you find gradient okay after you find gradient, you can just click one. It can be either one. Okay, you got your gradient pulled up and now you can pull out this so you can tweak it. I just did that so you will know how to find the gradient option because I could have easily did it how I had it, you know, set up already waiting to, to use. So what I do is I just bring these two edges to a darker color and I make the center like the color I wanted the hair to be. Okay, so I want this hair to be like a 
a brownish so what you want to do you want to make these two dark edges blend into a brownish color so we just going to find something that we just going to keep mixing because maybe I don't know what color hair you would probably would want but you can do like anything I'm just showing you any color you put in the center, you want the two edges to blend into it so it'll have a nice even fade and it'll give it a better effect. Okay. I'm starting to like that. Okay, I like that. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get our brush and it's gonna give us that. It's gonna give us that effect that we're looking for. And you put this layer on top of everything, you know what I'm saying? You put it on top of your line work, so, it'll, so you'll be able to see it. Opacity down a little bit on it. We just gonna add some glares in the eyes, and then we can we can start our shading process. Okay. Now, go back to these layers. We can lock that layer. And we can go to the layer in between. I think I want to. I want to switch that skin tone, but we'll do that at the end. We'll switch it up a little bit. I think I wanted a little, a little more redder. So, what we're gonna do for the shadows? We're gonna in the shading. We're gonna sample the skin tone natural color. And then we're gonna find a good, what'll be a good like color for the shading. I think, I think that'll be pretty good. Let's see, go a little lighter. There you go. We're gonna start shading. First of all, we're gonna, we're gonna select our shadows. I'm gonna expand appearance. Then we're gonna click merge on our pathfinder so we can make it one. So 
Nah, I really want to change the color of the face with the shadows all together. So we're going to unlock the bottom layer and the shadow layer, and we're going to select it all together. And we're going to go to Object. Now we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to right here. We're going to come right here. Color Harmony. And then you want to come click All. And now we can go to these colors. We want to change and tweak them. a little better right there so what we're gonna do we're gonna add another layer under under them shadows and we're gonna come in with a little lighter than both of these I think that's a good one
Well, there you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head. I know this is a boring video, but I decided to make one like this so you can keep up and really try to, you know what I'm saying, figure out the way I'm doing things. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, like I said, at the front of this video. Subscribe, hit post notification. More heat coming soon, and I'm out this thing.